Hello and welcome to The Order of the Vine. Thief uh, mission by Silent Sleep. Let's just skip ahead to the briefing screen where it's slightly quieter and read the uh, very short intro. Another night, another job. Someone has been going through a lot of trouble to get my attention. Every fence in the city has told me some guy was asking how he could get in contact with me. So I've decided to find out who exactly my admirer is. I found the part of town where he's hiding out. Now I just have to find him. There will be a few drunks and homeless wandering the streets at this time of night. Don't kill any of them, they're harmless. You've been told your contact is living in one of these alleys. Find him. Alright, let's do my usual escape hard, I guess. Lack of any other reason. Just what the world needs, more hammers. Yep. Do I have a map, actually? Oh, I do. Well, not much one. Let's not go the same way as Mr. Hammer there. I mean, let's just see what equipment I've got. It says don't kill anybody, so at least I've got my sword, blackjack, and compass. So that seems to be all. Okay. Now, this intro is supposed to be very short. It's kind of... exists in lieu of a briefing. Oh, it's actually raining. I hadn't even noticed. Alright, let's... let's actually go the way the hell I went. Well, with no rope arrows, I can't think I can climb up there. Yeah, probably not expecting to find any loot here, right? Oh, I mean, without any rope arrows, I can't climb up there. But with three crates and a barrel... <laughs> We don't even need to try it, right? Aha! Okay, there's nothing up here, but I can get up here. Let's see? Not so useless after all. Oh, I love that. I like this building. It's very cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Friend. Stack those more neatly. Well, I guess there's only one place left to look. Down this alley here. Then. Yes. We have failed quite magnificently. The seal was stolen right under my very nose. No man could be capable of such a feat. Therefore, me thinks some sort of vile pagan magics were afoot. We were barely able to escape from the evil beasts that appeared during the night, but the catacombs are now sealed, and I must return to the archdeacon and attempt to explain myself. Needless to record, the archdeacon was quite incensed. We have not been as tightly bound in recent months, and I do not believe he will support me before the council. However, the attempt must be made. Prophecy has fulfilled itself so far. Anyone who denies its finality is a fool and unworthy of his council position. I shake so uncontrollably I can barely place my quill on the parchment without tearing it. My council address has failed. They still reject outright the notions of the demons actually just stuff fools. How can they call it a metaphor for man's barbarism? Are they so forgetful? I was quite right about the Archdeacon. He even went so far as to lead the laughter. It is most likely they have sealed our world's destruction. Do not know what the consequences of my actions will be, but it seems likely I will be found guilty of heresy soon. I must stop writing now before my weeping spoils ink. My life as a servant of the builder is over. I've been found guilty of heresy, and in two days I will be dead. I have escaped. One of the brothers who was there when the seal was spirited away, Asuwen, was assigned to escort me to the gallows and struck down his brother to allow me to escape. 
I grabbed a few of my meager possessions and fled the temple. I ran for hours, finally spending the rest of the night in a sewer. It is now three weeks since my escape and I have stumbled on the seal's location. It has been bought by a socialite club known as the Order of the Vine. There are rumours that it has pagan links, which would not surprise me given its name, and the decadence associated with these places. I suspect it has some powerful members to prevent it from being quashed by my former brothers. I believe if I can regain possession of the seal I can defy prophecy, and also prove to the council its power so I may return to my former life. I've learned of a talented young thief named Garrett who seems to seek out difficult tasks. It called me to approach such a despicable type, but my needs have long since become desperate. I will make the necessary arrangements. Oh, so this stuff wasn't for me anyway. You're a hammer. What is this, some kind of trap? No. I am no longer a brother of the hammer. I am a renegade. Whatever. One wrong step, and you're dead. I have 3,000 gold. Help me, and it's yours. Well done. Start talking. I assume you've heard of the Order of the Vine? Vaguely. I know a few of the city's richest are members. Yes. They have come to possess an artifact called the Seal. I need you to steal it for me. It's most likely being held in the Order's treasury. I've provided a map, and 1,000 gold advance for any equipment you may need. Sounds like a challenge. I'll do it. But I'll check and see if I can get a better price for that thing first. I would expect nothing else. Leave. Now, please. Get your 1,000 gold objective complete, okay? Okay. Guess we're done here? Well... Ah, oh, there was some loot to be found somewhere. Okay, 125 somewhere hiding around. Oh well. Maybe someone had a pocket, I don't know. The gates into the Order's grounds are well locked. The walls are too high to climb, and the only way left inside the grounds has own problems. You still need to get inside the Order's residence. The seal is most likely being stored in the Order's treasury, but for a master thief it shouldn't be too hard to get in. You've heard rumours that one of the guests has brought one of his prized possessions with him to show off to the other members. Whatever it is, steal it. You've heard the best guest rooms are in the East Wing. The only people who can join organisations like this are the richest of the rich. Grab at least 1250 loot. And if they're rich, they're powerful. You can make some influential enemies if you're careless. Don't kill anyone. Return to the city streets when your objectives are complete. Oh, a master thief shouldn't have to in uh, expert. Luke Gold goes up to seventeen hundred, and uh, a master thief shouldn't have to leave a trail of cracked skulls behind him. Don't kill anyone and keep your knockouts to eight or less. Well, I'm going to stick with hard then because if I need to not, I mean, I'll try not to knock people out, get to sleep. But if I need to, I don't want it to fail the mission. If I end up in a situation where I don't really have any other choices but to knock lots of people out, I don't want that to just be a mission over. That would be terrible. So, um, yeah, nothing else seems to change there. Let's go. Do we have a shop? Yes, good, because we had some money. I do like missions when they give you a shop. To stand there. This arrow explodes on impact into a cloud of dust, blinding most unalerted humans for a short time, and can put out torches. However, its range is limited due to its weight. Cost 150, okay. Blinding them for a short time. Okay, that's interesting. Doesn't deafen them, right? One wasp is good. Six water is probably not good enough. Two ropes is good enough. Uh, Lockpicks are separated. For some reason. 150 for that. Obviously 50 there. What else do I want? Healing potions and flash bombs, I think, are... Standard sort of thing I want. That'll be most of my money if I grab those. Hmm. I 
don't feel like I'm really going to use the sand arrow. Most description, it's like intervention, right? So it'll blind them for a short time. Um, so why would I want to do that? And obviously, putting out torches is much better done, much more cheaply done with a water arrow. I'm probably going to need that, so I normally do. So grab another flash one with two more water arrows, or I could grab a lot of water arrows. I have no idea what the uh, lighting situation is like. Let's go for the water arrows. Um, that will give me 12 total. That's a good number. It means I don't need to hoard them. I guess we're swimming. The current is quite strong in here. Let's check the map though. Oh, the map is pretty faded. All right, it's just a map of the house. Okay, so let's not worry too much until we're in the house. Ported up place there. I wonder if I could have got it in that. If that's uh... I if that's a missed opportunity. Yeah, this current is very strong. I'm not. I'm not pressing any keys here. It's being swept along. For a way out of the water, really. Is that a ladder on the left? No, it's just a shadow. It's an order map. Nice. All right. So we come start in the power room. Alright. Do you have anything on you guys? Anything in the room I need? Oh, there's metal stairs. That's going to be a pain to get out without being seen. Let me try it. Or heard, I suppose, is probably the... Help! Hey. Help! Don't let him get me! Help! Save me! So There's someone fight. here! You're a sleepy. Oh, not me. He's you napping a bit. <clears throat> Dreams it you did. And that's a uh, few knockouts to begin with. Not that I, as I said, not that I'm going for expert, but if I was, oops, my brain both. That would be already a serious. Um, hmm. Fire crystals or anything in there. That would be a serious. 
number, you know, one quarter of the allowable knockouts. What are you on? Did I not shot that? Anything on top of this? Probably not. No, it doesn't look like it. Well, I suppose you could climb up there and then jump a metal onto this, but it'd be noisy. It'd be possible to get past them without knocking it. Knock him out, but it doesn't seem easy. What's that in the shadow there? Dreams it you did. Oh, they're saying it again. If I stick close to the walls, I have a chance of not being seen. Nothing making noise now. <laughs> Treasury key, okay. Is that the treasury? Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. Treasury seems like a good place to start. Make sure we don't get disturbed in here, shall we? I've been looking at the new locking system the master installed, and I can't work out how the tapping thing works. He set the whole thing up in a couple of hours. I can't see any pulleys or wheels at the portcullis, so how does it move? It can't be wired into the power room, or else he would have had to break up the wall. So how does it shock the tapper who puts in the wrong combination? I'm starting to believe some of the rumours about this place. And I just know that I'm going to get shocked by that contraption every single time I try to open it. I'd better keep a note close by. Ortlaw, noble treasurer, I installed the new locking system while you were away. Its operation is as follows. Enter a four number combination with the numbered buttons, then pull the switch. If you enter the correct code, the portcullis will open. Otherwise, you will receive a small electric shock. I thought this would be the best way to discourage anyone from trying their luck. Hint. Roots, leaves, and branches. The number of O's here. What am I writing this? The number of legs on a hammer. Roots, leaves, and branches. Number of O's here. There's one, two, three, four. Five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we got something six. A question mark the third one. What am I writing this? What? What am I writing this? Four. What am I writing this for? The number of legs on a hammer. Well, a hammer has... Uh, do they mean a hammer or do they mean a hammer right? Or do they mean three? Because it's got two legs on the human and one on the hammer. I don't know. Roots, leaves and branches. Is that a three? That's three things. Oh, it's got a key anyway. Can I pick it? Can I pick it? I can. Leaves and branches. Can't be more than six, so. Hmm.
Roots, leaves, and branches. It's a tree. That's gotta be the number, th number three, right? Number three. Let's try three six four two. If that doesn't work. We'll try three six four one. Uh, do we do the switch before or afterwards? Oh, that doesn't tell me. It's the other one that tells me. Four, four digit combination. All right. Uh, what is it? Three six four two. Let's try that. Nope. How about three, six, four, one? No. Hmm. Maybe this is only two? Three, two, four, one? Aha, uh -huh. okay. There was one leg on a hammer. It's not talking about the hammer person. That's a nice little riddle. Yeah, worthless. Stolen those birds before, anyway, many times. Oh, nothing here is valuable. What? What's this then? All tall, noble treasurer. I have taken our most recent acquisition to my chamber for study. I assure you, it will be quite safe, and I will return it tomorrow. How rude! <laughs> that looks like someone got here before you. Find out where the seal is and steal it. Leave uh, no indication that we were here. We're as little as possible. Feel my injured pride and injured skin. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna swallow one of these right away. Is that you? He's gonna see me if I try and get behind that guy. That's the last time I jump for rats. Let's just wait for the servant to go. Seems clear you enough now. Let's go through. We might be able to creep past the in the, cold and in the, the dark distance. And the damp. Mm -hmm. You still up? <laughs> I think you're a sleepy. Oh, not me. See you napping a bit. Dreams it you did. <laughs> I don't like this. Huh? <laughs> That's the last time I jump for rats. <sighs> <sighs> Alright, well, let's try and go quietly here. Alright, so we've been there, we've been there. Oh no, this uh, <coughs> map doesn't seem 100% reliable. And the people up above me get all the love. Someone behind me? Uh, that's I, just. I saw something! <laughs> Just the archer? Yes, indeed. <clears throat> you still up? I think mm. you're I thought I saw something. Shit, that was close. <laughs> construction report. Nothing has been done on the construction on the new seat for the order again this month. We have nothing built except the outer shell, in a small area of the southern ground floor. Workers still refuse to continue until they are paid. Payment remains in the hand of Giblin, head servant. Plans for repairs to the sewer system and the roof are also on hold, due to directions from Giblin, head servant. Would someone please tell him we can't move into the new seat until it's finished? Durkin, head of construction. Oh no! We're in such taff! I think he noticed the thing missing. The 
Do I knock him out? Is there any reason to go to that end of the room? I can't see a reason. Let's... Just presume for the moment there isn't any such reason. Entertainment report. This week's guests seem to have enjoyed themselves. The actors reported that the new play was well received, and at the time of writing, most of the guests were planning to go on tonight's hunt. Took up a demand, I need two extra servants to go to the hunting lodge for the evening. Davina. Put back on the spike. New expenses this month were the gifts sent to the old head guard's widow, and the advanced wages given to the new head guard, Garrett Horton. Horton immediately asked us to restock the armory, which he says is full of old, broken weapons. He claimed Rurai had let his duties slip before his death, and given the attitude of some of the guards around here, I believe him. The restocking of the armory will have to wait, however, until more funds become available. A spark from that torch set fire to all the records again. Someone should really move that. And I could fix that for you, but you know, I don't have a strong incentive to do so, do I? Where does this door go? I see. Provision of reward. While alcoholic provisions remain high, we will soon run very low on basic foodstuffs. The storeroom has little else beside a few empty crates and small herbs. We need money to buy new provisions, but Gilliland has rejected our requests. If the guests have to go hunting again next week just to eat, it's not our fault. Hmm, chef liaison. From the seven, come on. Someone get him! Yeah. Coming in here? You know, supposed to walk in, in on me like that? Cheeky servant opening the door and walking right through it while I was listening. You imagine that there's nobody in here, look. See? Nobody at all. Guess that's on me for not watching the patrol route more carefully, I suppose. Uh, does he have a pocket or am I just seeing part of his texture? Does he have something on his belt? Might be a better way of phrasing that question. Imagine it again. Help, help. Don't let him get me. Yeah. Oh, no. It's for me. You know what? Let's just do it. Get the mess sorted out sooner rather than later. Guess that means I can go see what's out this way too. the stairs. Uh, so those were the records rooms I was in. Right, that's the, that's the other side of the records room. That's the main hall.
Maybe it might be our serpent friend coming back. No, it's a patroller. <coughs> he moves fast too. This is the servant's room, I guess. It's got tables to eat at. Big long benches. Of course, nothing to eat, they don't have any food. As we heard. <coughs> so he comes and goes pretty quickly. Be worth me doing this. Right, so he goes halfway, I see. This is unmarked. Couldn't you've got a better map than that, Mr. Hammer? Hello. <laughs> We dropped a ring. Wow, we've got a lot of gold to find. It's a little theatre, but... I think I need a pickaxe. That's more like it. Actually, valuable props. These people have too much money for my own good. Because halfway is just going to be a problem. <coughs> I'm going to have to put out this torch, I think. Although, maybe not. Maybe I don't have to go this way at all. Let's scope out the main hall. Exit, right. Anybody here? In the library? <laughs> Triad! An unassuming ambivalent entity, these are either made up or disguise themselves as trees and other large plants. Only females are known to exist, though it is unknown whether genders actually apply. They inhabit woodlands and it is unlikely they could survive other habitats. Dryads are at least closely related to naiads, if not actually the same beings. Kuria, or Kulia, a large bipedal animal, superficially lizard like, that inhabits desert regions. It is likely related to the common barrack, though at least twice the size. There are reports of mutant Kuriats with wings. But nothing substantial. Raquel's Tome of Magic. Introduction. It is the erudite practitioner of magic who, in these days of pseudo wizards carelessly wielding enchanted materials, retains the secrets of commanding the powerful sorcery found in the world of nature. For it was from listening to the hidden whispers of ancient oaks, of creaking vines, of desert sandstone pillars, that civilized people first learned the abstruse ways of magic. Kjolfer. Kjolfer was one of the three high kings of the precursors, and is considered largely responsible for what is today referred to as paganism. One of the legends associated with him was his ability to open a holy portal. And this is a literal translation, and could easily be something as simple as a temple door, simply by placing his hand on an obelisk. 
Kill Theory apparently went insane in old age, as his later religious tenets directly contradict his earlier ones. We assume there was some sort of public revolt, but records of the period are largely undiscovered. However, his acolytes were extremely pleased to record in later years that Kilfer's disembodied head functions just as well as his hands did. How handy? Need to open a door with an obelisk? Holy portal? Hello. Alright, so this is the this is where the arch patrols. Yeah, I can hear him there. He does have another print down the hallway there. Where's that door go? The door goes to the garden. I probably want to go there. Hmm, let's sit in the darkness here. Oh, more footsteps. There's an archer patrol here too, okay. Ah, there's plenty of darkness just around the corner. Alright, he goes upstairs. <coughs> oh, we've got a basement. That wasn't on the map. Now just storage. Fair enough to... Why do they keep the storage room locked there? What's picks and shovels? What are they digging? I'm hiding behind these crates, is there? Why would they lock up the crates and barrels? And old chairs and tools, it seems a little surprising, okay. Wait for this guy and then we'll try the garden. Quickly before our archer friend comes back. Oh, is this for us? Is that our servant friend that ran away from us? What's that? Or is it just someone else? Hmm. Someone else, I think. Hey, who was that? Stuck in a silly bench. Are you coming over here to search for me? Really, man? You really want to knock on the head? No? Is someone there? Hey! Is there nothing here in the garden?
Whoops. <laughs> this could be a problem. Well, I think we broke the garden doors. Thought I saw something. No, 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 nothing. nothing. Hmm. Must have been rats. <clears throat> Just one big rat. So it's just the main hole again. Good work, Garrett. Oh, this is a sitting room. Seems unoccupied at the moment. Nice. I like it. The flowers in the pot. I did the same in my mission. Many years after this, but I was independent solution to the same problem. Right. It's a huge main hall. Don't think we're going to get anywhere running around it. Don't have another flash bomb to deal with those two, so... Might be wrong. Oh, hello. I did not notice this cupboard. Or oh, this one. Good thing I came back this way, huh? Why does the Order of the Vine have a hammerite painting? Seems awfully suspicious to me. <coughs> Is that you? Too much coffees this morning. I'm twitchy as hell. Seems clear. Oh, guys, I gotta get home. The dinner is waiting, and I'm starving. Haven't eaten since breakfast. That door from flying off its hinges. That was just the bathroom. Wow, there's a whole passageway down there. Can I get down? I mean, it seems like it almost could. Aha, uh -huh, I can. Do I want to? Really, Garrett? I do have a rope arrow. Um, if the guards are complaining about the smell, I'll understand why. That's not good, I'm stuck. Literally completely stuck. I might have to reload. Let's try it. Alright, wasn't too far back. Let's just try dropping down without the rope and use the rope to climb up. Might work better. South or east? I guess let's try east first. 
I mean, yeah, that's the price of a sewer, but... Why do we want to go in the sewer? It connects. With other rooms that may be easier reach more easily reached this way. Maybe I shouldn't have used my rope out of there. But I have a spare, so. Maybe there's somebody who shits gold and it comes down here. Oh I see we can swim. Okay, try not to get any of this water in your mouth or nose or eyes, I mean, ugh. Much more. Oh, I did have another one. I didn't buy two. Or was that two of them there? Maybe that was two of them there. I thought I only had the one at the start of the mission and used it. Somebody's got a stash of tools. That's handy for me. I don't mind too much. I don't know if flash bombs can provide uh, good protection against uh, E. coli, but I guess we will find out. Yeah, so if the guards start mustering about what is that smell, at least, uh, at least we have a good reason for it, right? get back to the other room and get my rope. Uh, just quickly, so that I'm not... Uh, so I've got both of them. Well, it does help serve to tell the two places apart, in a way. I guess we can tell that by the uh, occupants. Sing loud singing in the other room. So where was this bathroom? Is that here? I think so. One of these two is the bathroom. I think that was the way we needed to turn. Someone's coming in here in a second, I think. Maybe they're not coming in here. Okay, Garrett. Oh, he is coming in here. Just 
the bathroom. This is the bathroom then as well. Okay, so it's not really much of a secret passage. Spooked by something. Hmm. Oh. Look at those gold candles over there. I want those. That's the southern side. We got a door there. He seems to be giving up and going back. That's good for us. Oh, oh, what was that? There's a guy over here. Help me. Mm -hmm. I can't get in there. Oh. So where's this go to then? Wine cellar? Who goes there? Indeed, a wine cellar. Oh. Vine cellar? Everything okay? I think, given there's some valuable ones, I think these guys need to sleep. <laughs> we still have a few. Actually, that's our friend upstairs. With uh, a frequent need to run to the bathroom. I think he's had a little too much to drink. Are we on the map now? No. Where does this bring us to? Exit. The storeroom, surely. These pictures, the cupboards, pictures of loot bottles on them. This is a strange design choice. I, I, I'm harmless. Leave me alone. Help! Help! Where are we at? So if I say that's that's those two connect. Where's this go? This goes east. So it's the other exit then. Hey, what was that? Two men may concern. The lock on the side gate is broken. Until repairs can be made, all food stuff, supplies, and other goods will have to come in through the front gate or not at all. Durkin. Just the wind. It was indeed just the wind. Blowing the doors open again.
So I can't get out to side gate, but maybe I can climb that wall. Let's let's <coughs> scout so we know where our exit's gonna be. Hello? Hmm. This is Secret Scroll number five of five. Last one. Oh well. You found the secret. Okay. Secrets in this mission. So mark it so it's, so it's not a secret any longer, right? Kitchen. I think I might just turn around and come straight back. Now they keep going around. <laughs> Who's that coming in? Oh, that's our friend in the corridor. <laughs> Who's that? Just me stealing your food. Mm, guess it was nothing. What's that? Nothing, nothing at all. Gonna come here next. <laughs> Who's there? Hello? Hmm. Oh well. We don't have anything in their cupboards. Alright, so the food is the only thing in the kitchen. I mean, I guess that makes sense. Ah, oh, but the kitchen... The second door of the kitchen goes round there, I see. Right, yeah, that's the storeroom. That's the guard. That's where I came from. What have we got here? This is a... I don't know. Question mark. A little alcove with a slightly faulty light. Well, there seems to be a doorway there, but we might need to wait for this guard to go past. <clears throat> you know what? Well, 
let's wait for this girl to keep passing. See how far he goes back and forth. Or what? Oh, is he the one who goes upstairs? Maybe he's the one who goes down there and upstairs? <clears throat> nope, he just goes and looks down the hallway. Probably <clears throat> keeping tabs on the other guard to make sure he's not slacking off. Alright, well... I'm going to leave it here until the next episode. <clears throat> but thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.